So as soon as the auction started, it also ended in this episode, Tokyo Ghoul, episode 4, and I, and or, I believe so, episode like 28 or something, uh, list on Funimation, I can't really remember, I'm just kind of going from 1, 2, 3, 4, probably all the way up till 12, which is episode, you know, which is, this season is actually listed for that, so, where to begin in the auction, man, I mean, to find out that humans actually go for something like 200 million is nuts, I mean, an old ex-celebrity went for like, what, 100 million something or right around there, and of course we have Toru that goes for well 200 million which is absolutely insane 200 million 200 million yen so now whenever I look at this episode I gotta say right the rip you know the music once again it hit the nail on the head opening I still like the opening so you know it still gives me a little bit of chills here and there I'm not gonna sit here and say it's the best opening of the season because I do not believe that no, I do not. I do not. I do not. I love a couple other openings like Black Clover. I love an opening like, you know, My Hero Academia, just, you know, for a couple examples. But how about we hop into the content in this episode? So I guess the biggest thing is, let's talk about Algiri. So Algiri Tree is, of course, what Kaneki originally left for, right? He left on Teku for that. And that was just to find power and, you know, so on and so forth. So now when I look at Algiri, I've find that it's odd that Hanami is now part of them. She's she's leading people. She's like a commander, a strategist per se. We see that on top of the rooftop. So it's kind of like, holy shit, Hanami has gotten stronger than shit. I mean, for real. Like, how is she this strong? And that that's something, uh, that's something that I don't really know. I don't know if the time scape would explain that. I don't know if I would have to go back to the manga to read that. That may be something I do need to read. But, I mean, at the same time, I think it's time to look at something else, such as the old man that is d leading Algiri, it seems to be, because he's commanding Eto, and we know Eto's, like, at the tippy top, and that one psycho that says the blood tastes like jam. So, uh, other than that, though, the old man, my main point here is, isn't that the dude that performed surgery on Kaneki? I'm pretty sure that was him. The voice actor sounded the damn same, and he's like... What, what, what would they do if we released the owl on them? And he was not referring to himself because at first I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that the guy from the coffee shop? But no, then he, you know, talked about the owl and kind of like a, I guess, a third person perspective, not a first person perspective. And uh, and right there it says, it makes me say, whoa. So Kaneki was, he's planned th this whole time. Like, the you know, the, re the, the, uh, the whole situation with him and, of course, Rise was all planned. So that's something that I... I don't know. That's something I probably have to go read the, you know, the gap from chapter, like, 63 of Tokyo Ghoul all the way to, like, chapter, like, 120, 140, wherever, you know, wherever it meets up to Tokyo Ghoul Re. That's something I probably have to go and find out in you guys, too. And that's probably something what I'd suggest, you know, people who have read the manga, definitely leave down in the comments below, uh, you know, some information about that. No spoilers, but just say, hey, do we need to go back and read that if we want to understand that or not? So other than that, though, let's take a look at Suzuha, man. Suzuha appears to be a robotic, I guess. I mean, we saw her leg and all the blades come out. That's something I... I, I she was not always like that. I'm, like, 100% sure. At least from my knowledge, she was not always like that from what I remember. I don't remember the anime ever showing anything like that. I mean, I don't know. But from my knowledge, she was never like that. And that's something that's kind of like, whoa, what the hell? There's Quinxes and now there's cyborgs like what's going on with the you know with the doves with the ccg man i have no idea what's going on there but i mean it would explain kind of why suzu you know suzu is so badass i guess in a sense right i mean uh, she comes in there like and just owns she makes she makes the auction her bitch she is the auctioneer at that point man like <laughs> like what's going on but what did we expect you know do we expect anything less from suzu you know suzu so i don't really think we did so then the speech about God, and everyone has to face God with something cool. I just want to add this in here because I thought this, you know, this little tidbit of, I guess, I don't know, I just, the whole scene, I liked it. I just liked the way, you know, it was orchestrated, I guess, set up, per se, and I didn't even care about that character, but, like, I don't know, I liked him. I really liked his voice actor. First off, good job Funimation on finding a side character to voice that scene. I mean, that... You know, the subtle things like that add up to be bigger things, and you know, in the end, because people say, I remember that scene, I remember the speech about God, you know, he had like a 30 second scene, and just, you know, he says, everyone has to face God someday. God isn't necessarily the person upstairs, but it's the person with that just insane amount of talent, that unfair skill level, right? So, I mean, ah, he's like, you know, I may be older, but I, you know, I may be part of an old generation, but I still can do stuff, and he cuts that dude in half, you know, badass scene, then he gets his head picked off like a pineapple, according to that crazy-ass ghoul, 
So it makes you wonder where Al Geary's hiding. Are they like hiding in this building somewhere and just like slowly falling out or what? But I don't know. Other than that, guys, what do you guys think? Be sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, X25. See you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys.